Hi guys, Judy here. <clears throat> I just had some fun with the donkey mask. Um, let me just explain that for people that weren't there back in the day. Um, the donkey, the jackass crown is a real thing. I'm not even kidding. Like, it, God said so. <laughs> it pissed a lot of people off. But um, when God date set with my son... And, you know, that was, like, huge. Um, I didn't understand. Why didn't you come if you said you were going to come? And then I've given tons of excla uh, explanations on that, what he told us. Not, like, human explanations, but what God told us. And I've made videos on it. But just a quick repeat. He said that, um, thank you for being faithful and being obedient and saying what I've told you to say and believing what I've told you believe about my appearing. I am coming your faith has pleased me. And he told us what the date sets. He was beckoning the bride and separating, separating the wheat from the tares. And it was all about a faith. Do you believe what he's telling you? Um, yeah, he didn't come and literally take us like he led us to believe. And that can really offend your mind. That's offensive. It makes you think that God's a liar, but God's not a liar. And he said, I do not lie. And I wanted to apologize after the first date set he gave my son after he fell on him. Um, and I wanted to make an apology video and God said, you will not apologize for me. You will not apologize. And he was very indignant. I mean, he was like, you will not apologize for what I have done. I have done this. I gave that date set. You won't apologize for me. You obeyed me. I mean, I made videos about it. I just got chills when I said it just now because it still is very deep. This whole date setting thing, guys. And, um, but back to the jackass thing. Um, I got that donkey mask because it was a real thing God told me to do. Um, he said it was a jackass crown because he said, if you believe everything I tell you to believe and you say everything I tell you to say, you are a jackass. You will look like a jackass into the world, in the world's eyes. But remember, my son rode on a jackass. Donkeys are very prized possessions in God's kingdom. Go do a search. I didn't know all this, but many people did a whole bunch of searches and got back to me on how valuable donkeys are and how highly prized they are. Um, but we laugh at them. They're funny because God's funny. Okay, but but a jackass crown is real. And God told me that all the date setters that got dates from him, not people that were phony ones, but real ones like us. We were real date setters. I mean, my son didn't make it up. I didn't make it up. And many people I know that have gotten dates from the Lord did not make them up when God literally told them I'm coming and gave him a time. Um, and, and it, it was, it's, it's a, it's a purifying process. And God said we would understand it in a blink of an eye, why he did it this way at the end of time. So I'm never critical when people's dates come and go because we've, that happened to us too. And it was the Lord people that are doing it that aren't from God. You know, you should have discernment. God will speak to you and let you know if they're true or not. Um, but anyway, he said, all these people get their jackass crowns because if we truly follow the Lord, God told me he doesn't do it with everyone. Um, I don't, I'm not talking date setting. I'm talking a jackass crown. Um, he doesn't make everyone look like a jackass in the world's eyes, but he did tell us that when you do follow him and, and are obedient and are obedient to him and to the world, you will look like a jackass. He just said, that's just the way it is. And so I look, I'm looking forward to my jackass crown. I have many of them. And I'm, I, every time I see a date setter, new date setter come on the scene and their date comes and goes, and they were really from God. I'm like, Oh, they're going to have a really big jackass crown you know, if we get past this date set and they do, and it's a compliment, it's, you're not a fool. Being a fool for Christ is a very good thing. Don't be a fool for this world. I am not a jackass for this world. But anyway, so I got the mask and I used to make a bunch of donkey videos that were, they, they were really fun and they made me laugh so hard. I just couldn't even handle it. And they brought a lot of joy to people and it was just fun. They were goofball videos. I've erased all those, but, um, one of my, friends from YouTube emailed me. She was there back in the day and, and just was there from the beginning. And she said, can you make another donkey vid? <laughs> Bring back the donkey vids. And I just haven't had it in me to do one because three years later, like I really am like a real jackass. Back when I made the donkey videos, it was still in the first year of him falling on my son. So everything was, 
I wasn't in debt yet. I was living on savings. I wasn't working. I had a bunch of free time, right? <laughs> because God did that. He did that. He told me not to work for almost two years. Um, and so I had, it was really fun making those videos. I had a ton of spare time and we had props and it was just great. But anyway, who knows? Maybe the jackass videos will come back. Um, but I just want to kind of give an explanation if you're new to the channel and you're like, what's up with the mask and, and why are you cussing? You know, <laughs> well, it's a donkey. Okay. And it's funny. And God is really funny. He's really got a good sense of humor anyway. So I'm done. I just kind of wanted to explain that. And, um, it, it's, there's all kinds of good stuff in God's humor. I mean, God has serious messages, but he's also very lighthearted and full of joy. He does give serious and deep messages. And, and I am a very serious and deep person, but I have, you know, I'm, we reflect God and God's really funny and he thinks a lot of things are funny. And so mostly I look at things the way he does. I don't know why, but for me, he just let, he really lets me in on his joker side. And, um, like I'm like the clown jester or something. I don't know. He just likes to take out funny stuff and tell me everything he thinks is funny. He just, cause he knows I, I, I enjoy that. Um, but you know, we're all different. Our personalities are different in the way he made us. Um, it's different, but he does promise joy to everybody. So even if you're not one of those people that is just, super, you know, likes to laugh a lot, even if you're just, that's not your personality really, but you still get joy and God wants you to have that joy. And it really doesn't come from anything funny. It comes from a deep sense of God's joy and he can share that with you. So you're really missing out if you don't, if you're not laughing up until he gets here in the rapture and don't let the devil steal your, your joy in the weight. This weight is hard. Okay. And like I had a really rapture centric day today, but my joy never left me. My peace never left me, but it was just another day. And, um, yeah. So I love you guys and we're going home very, very soon. And I'm telling you, I trust me, we are, I gave up my whole life and everything for this. And, um, God's not going to let me down and he's not going to let you down. And I'm still standing. Last ra last bride standing. They really should make like a reality show. We should, huh? We should make the last bride standing show. <laughs> Except Jesus has to come and get us in order for the episodes to end. Hmm. Let's think about that, guys. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.